everybody doing today? I hope you all are doing well. I am on my way right now to work at the shop. We tonight at 6.30 have our advanced tarot workshop going on, which I'm excited about. We, this year has been a really wild year, uh, I think for everybody. Um, but as a occult instructor and divination teacher at the shop, it's been interesting this year. Um, you know, everything going on with coronavirus and all the other political unrest that has taken place that is continuing to take place and that, you know, the veil over our eyes is kind of taken back and we're seeing things as they really are. Um, it's really taught me a lot as a businesswoman and as an instructor as to how I can make this content more readily available um, for my in-person students, but also for students online. And if there's one thing that I've really learned and I feel like I've grown from in this experience is how to properly integrate an online e-learning course with an in-person classroom. And that is what we have been fairly successful at doing thus far in 2020. Earlier this year, uh, we had the first phase of TTC, as in the tarot training course, uh, which that started, I think, right at the beginning of our lockdown here in our state. And we had a handful of people who opted to not take the class or the course online, which is totally fine. And we applied their uh, payment as credit towards the next TTC course and the handful of students who opted to take the e-learning option as everything was locked down um we taught the class online and you know there was only a handful of them that took the online course and it was really kind of one of my first experiences teaching something live online in the sense that it's not just buying the material because in the past when i've done my classes online i've essentially sold the material and then it's kind of been like a teach yourself so the students have always just paid for the material and then taught themselves the course um but this go around what we did was they paid for the course like they would any other and we um, set up a Google Hangouts classroom and that worked out really well. And it's something that I wanna continue on moving forward in 2020 and moving forward into 21, 22, 23, et cetera, et cetera. I think offering the online classroom is beneficial, not just in the sense of surviving coronavirus and being a small business, but also it offers students who are out of town or out of state or out of country to still take the course and have as similar an, as, an experience as possible as being in the physical classroom. Um, also, like I said, I'm integrating it into the in-person classroom. So that's worked out really, really cool. And I just think it's a much better experience when you're able to you know, facilitate that space live. And so you can answer questions live and communicate with your online students live. I think that it just creates a much better learning environment. And a lot of universities and schools, colleges or uh, general education schools are treating this with kind of the same attitude. And so I think being an occult instructor or a divination instructor, uh, you kind of have to have the same mindset. So yeah, it's been it's been an adjustment, but it's not been a bad adjustment whatsoever. It's just taken some time figuring out the technology behind it and what works and what doesn't. So um, our first phase, like I said, was towards the beginning of lockdown and all of those students graduated and it was a smaller class, um, but it was a great class. All those kids are awesome and then we had our second wave of TTC because I normally try to do two uh, TTC courses a year. Usually there's one sometime in like the late winter to spring and then normally there's one in like the summer to early fall. Um, so we have finished with all of our beginners tarot training course material for the year and now tonight we have the advanced tarot workshop. So that'll be fun. Um, I know that there are some students coming tonight from the first wave, and there are some students coming tonight as well from the second wave. So it'll be cool to see those two um, semesters of classes kind of integrate tonight 
And then also we have some students who haven't taken TTC before, but yet who are taking the advanced um, Tara workshop, which is just one evening, it's tonight. Um, and so that'll be interesting too. You know, I don't, I don't um, forbid anyone from taking any of the advanced classes. You know, a lot of people assume that you should take the beginners before you take the advanced. And as a general rule of thumb, I would agree. However, we all come from different experience levels and backgrounds, and I like to leave it up to the students to decide if they feel like they're ready. You know, I might make a recommendation to them what I feel like what might be best, but at the end of the day, it is their will and it is their time and it is their money, and they are more than welcome to do whatever they see fit with all of that. So, um, yeah, we have some students tonight who haven't taken the beginner's TTC who will be taking the advance, some of which I know have some prior experience with RWS Tarot, which is the tradition of tarot that I teach in TTC, so they should hopefully be able to adapt into the classroom setting just fine. So that is what I have planned for this evening, just teaching the advanced tarot workshop. And then after that, we have beginner's astrology course, the back, which has been a four week course, but it is now going to be a five week course. And I've decided to extend that because the back, essentially what it does is it is a resource. It's, it's a course to basically teach you the fundamental pillars of astrology and tell you everything that you need to know from the 12 zodiac signs to the four elemental kingdoms to the planets and the asteroids and all of that. And that is going to create a solid foundation for you to really understand how you can incorporate astrology into your daily life. And also it'll take you from understanding the 12 basic signs and the key concepts of astrology to how to properly and efficiently read and interpret a full natal chart, a standard natal chart, as well as also do standard sinistry with natal charts. So that's exciting. We have that. Uh, like I said, that's going to be a five week course and that will start, I believe, next Wednesday. Um, and that'll be available in person or online as well. Um, and then after that, I think we have a lunar astrology workshop. Um, all of the classes and course information is available on the Third Eye Fortunes Facebook page. If you go under the events tab, you'll be able to see everything that is coming and everything that is available. So definitely check that out. Off the top of my head, I believe the Lunar Astrology Workshop is uh, Wednesday after the Beginner's Astrology. And then after that, we have um, our yearly seance at the shop, which I think we have four or three spots left. Um, our seances here in town are usually pretty popular and they sell out pretty quick. So, and they're a lot of fun. I like to incorporate a bit of murder mystery fun into the seance. So it's kind of more of a modern take on a, a spiritualist seance. And uh, yeah, so that's what we have going on at the shop. I hope you all are doing well. Um, I hope everyone is enjoying this changing of the season that we have from, you know, shifting out of summer and moving into fall as we approach Maybon or the fall equinox. Oh, we also, um, another thing, not necessarily related to the shop, but um, in Indianapolis on September 27th at 7 p.m. through 9.30 p.m., we will have the Witches Maybon Banquet that I'm hosting along with some other coven leadership in town. We did this last year as well, and this will be a fun evening and a safe evening for us to kind of break bread uh, together and build stronger bonds as covens and as communities and as solitary practitioners, and just kind of keep the witch blood nice and good and clean in the community and keep everything uh, flowing properly. And it's a networking event. There will be a candle lit ceremony, um, a unity ritual, but it's not necessarily going to be this you know, it's not necessarily a big grand Dois, fall equinox or Maybon ritual. It's just a unity ritual where representatives or leaderships will light the unity candle and light their group's candle and say a little something about community as well as uh, just kind of hold space. And then solitary practitioners will also have an opportunity to bring some tea lights down to the altar and kind of let their 
feelings be heard as well. And I think it's something really beneficial for the community to have. Anyone who is outside of the Indianapolis community is more than welcome to attend. Um, you can look for this information also on Facebook. If you just search the Maybon, I think it's Witches Maybon event. Um, you'll probably be able to find it. It's going to be at the new Aeon Center off of West 57th Street. And like I said, that'll be from 7 p.m. until 930. So yeah, I hope all of you are doing well. I am getting ready to pull into the shop here soon. So I will talk to you guys all later. Uh, blessed be.